Hello world, this is Random Fix and welcome to sunny California. Hello world, this is Random Fix and if you ever thought about building your own DIY camper van and you looked into batteries and it's really confusing and they get to be very very expensive or you just wanted an off-grid huge power bank for your solar system, well in this video I'm going to show you guys how to do that and these batteries are going to be the lithium iron phosphate batteries. This is what everybody wants, 280 amp hours. And in this video today, I'm going to show you guys how to assemble these. I have a video on how to make studs for the top of the connectors here. And then I'll show you guys videos on the actual BMS themselves. So let me show you guys what you're going to need to go ahead and get this done. If you guys want to go ahead and... Do this for yourself and your total cost here is going to be about 650 for 280 amp hours and they work great i just got back from a 24 state trip across the country here and i have 1160 amp hours of these batteries and i want to share this with you guys so these eve cells right here can be purchased for about 450 to 500 dollars and i'll have links down below on where you can go ahead and purchase those and you want to be very careful when you're ordering these so make sure you only use recommended vendors and when you buy these cells right here, they come with the bus bars here and some very inappropriate hardware. You're going to have to go ahead and dish the screws in this kit and instead go ahead and get some longer bolts here that you can pick up from the store. And these are going to be the M6-1.00 and you want to get yourself the, a 25 millimeter for these studs. And for the two places where the BMS is going to go ahead and connect to, which is going to be the negative and then the positive you're going to go ahead and get the 35 or 30 millimeter just because you're going to need that little bit of extra room to go ahead and get all the connectors on there and then you're going to need the nuts here locking washers and i have my bms right here so they have different bms's this is rated at 150 amps and it has two thermal sensors here so this battery is going to be cold protected so in case it overheats or it gets too cold it'll go ahead and stop charging the unit and this is exactly what you want so you'll have links down to these as well and there's an app the app is free and I'm going to cover that with you guys in a different video on which app to use because there's two different apps one is the consumer and one is the pro version and this is the battery saver right here guys this is going to be the Helltech BMS because this battery is so big this BMS cannot burn off any large irregularities between the cells so you're gonna need this guy and 30 bucks well spent so I'm gonna go ahead and cut the top of the bolt off here so I'll just have a stud and you want to make sure you have a nut in place as in case the thread gets messed up you can go ahead and fix it on the spot you're gonna need yourself some sort of digital voltmeter when the batteries come in they should all be a similar voltage you want to go ahead and connect them in parallel which means connecting the black to the black to the black and letting all the voltage just equalize. Uh, you can go ahead and do that. You could do it for a couple of days or a week, depending on how much time you have. I like to make my own lugs, so you can grab one of these. You need a hammer. You can get a lug kit like this. You need some wire. This is going to be overkill, but it's 4 gauge. And we also have 8 gauge. So the smaller the number, the bigger the wire is going to be. I like to go ahead and use some other sort of uh, safety device in there that will cut off in case it overloads or maybe there's a short so you can pick these up too and you're going to need yourself a 12 volt power supply here and you this is for the final finishing touches and before you do that I like to put it on 12 volt charger because it's a lot faster remember this is 280 amp hours so this is going to take weeks this is going to take just basically a day and then we're going to finish it off with this so top balancing is very important and when the meter basically is not putting any more amperage into the power bank here we know that the battery is pretty much topped off and this guy is going to go ahead and save your battery over the years we have some xt60 connectors here i actually like using these xt90 connectors here instead now which I like better and these are the XT60 so I might connect this to my charger here as well and it'll make it so if any time I want to 
I can bypass the BMS in case it's not doing something the way it's supposed to. So I can go ahead and balance the battery myself and that just gives me a little bit more control. Let's go ahead and get this started. So check out the video link, link above for the battery stud making as I'm going to go ahead and make the studs really quick and then we'll come back and we're going to assemble the battery. And the one thing you are going to need lastly is a battery box. So I'll have links to this. So this is a bigger battery box that I found when I first started building these and this is the one that I use now. And this one is a little bit smaller and works pretty well and basically keeps everything nice and tight. So each cell has a bolt through there and a nut and you want to go ahead and get these nice and tight but do not over torque these so if I had to take a guess I would say probably about 20 foot pounds of torque and I like using a smaller quarter inch ratchet like this with a 10 millimeter deep socket and make sure that you apply even pressure from the top when you're doing this and do not strip it if you have a stripped out bell what you want to do is go ahead and use the M7 and that will work and I've gone ahead and, and repaired a few cells out like that and they have held up pretty well. Safety. You want to go ahead and back up all the nuts. And what I like to do is to make sure I'm getting a really nice fit on these. I will go ahead and use the cap on tape. And you want to put it in the right sequence. So it's going to be negative, positive, negative, positive. I like to make sure this is nice and tight. So that way the cells don't actually start gassing up. Because these don't actually have a hard shell. So wrap around. and continue that all the way to the bottom of the cells. Now you want to go ahead and get the battery on the side and we're going to go ahead and tape down this way and this feels nice and solid and I've seen people go ahead and grab cutting boards, the plastic ones, put them between here, put them on the outside just to go ahead and give it that nice hard exterior shell but I've actually been pretty happy with the results when you go ahead and tape it up before you go ahead and top balance the cells. This works really well. Make sure you're really pulling on that tape. You'll get a nice tight battery pack here. Now I'm going to go ahead and grab my included bus bars, pop them into place, so positive to negative, positive to negative, and positive to negative. And now I have my main negative back here and my positive right over here. hand tighten everything up and then we're going to go ahead and put this on a 12 volt charger so we can go ahead and charge up these cells here and then we can go ahead and top balance them with the something a little bit more precise select a lug grab your crimper grab a hammer make sure you push the wire in And you got yourself a nice secure connection right here. Put the negative on the negative. 
positive on the positive. So we'll get everything tightened up here. All right, guys, now that we know how to go ahead and build out the battery bank, in the next video, I'm going to show you how to go ahead and get this charged up. I'm going to be using a 12 volt charger like this. And then to fine tune everything, I'm going to go ahead and use a power supply like this. And we're going to go ahead and top balance up the battery. Then we're going to go ahead and hook up this BMS and also the Heltec BMS and get it all set up. And on the final video, I'll show you how to go ahead and use the app. So stay tuned. If you guys are enjoying the series on how to go ahead and build a lithium iron phosphate battery pack, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up as it's absolutely free and it would mean the world to me. And subscribe to the channel as it would really help me out. Thanks.